All right, uh, let's look at the homework 10.4, uh, problem number 10. All right, so we want to use a calculator. I'm going to use uh, a GeoGebra. And to find the length of the curve, uh, correct to four decimal places. Um, so here's the graph. One loop of the curve, R is equal to cosine of 2 theta. All right, so I'm going to bring out the GeoGebra. And uh, I set... Uh, I already set the r of x equals cosine of 2x. All right, so here's the curve. So I'm going to just move this um, um, value. So it start from 0, right? Then the curve is going to go like this, right? This is uh, about the pi over 2. And uh, at this point, it's about pi. And then go all the way to say 2 pi and it completes it. So you have uh, a full com combination of four loops, all right? So we can either go from 0 to pi over 2 to find it or we can go from 0 to 2 pi then just divide by 4. Uh, we can go either way but uh, let's do that. All right, so oops. Um, so what we need to do is we have to find the ds, uh, so we have to find the derivative. r prime is equal to, right, negative sine of uh, 2 theta times 2, right? Then uh, if you want to find the uh, uh, arc length element, uh, ds, so this is going to be a, a square root of, Right, r squared, so which is going to be cosine uh, squared of uh, 2 theta plus right, uh, r prime squared, so it's going to be 4 uh, sine squared of 2 theta, right, uh, d theta outside. All right, since the cosine squared and one of the sine squared make a 1, so this is going to be equal to uh, square root of uh, 1. Then you would have 3 more sine squared. So you have 3 sine squared of 2 theta and d theta. All right. So uh, we want to find the arc length of one loop. So I'm going to do uh, L is going to be equal to. Okay. I'm going to do all four loops. Uh, from 0 to 2 pi, then divide by 4 because they are four loops, uh, identical loops. So you have a square root of 1 plus 3 sine squared of 2 theta d theta. Right? So I'm going to bring out the GeoGebra uh, here. Right? And um, I'm going to evaluate this integral. Right here. Oops. All right. Hold on a sec. Uh, let's see. All right. So we want to evaluate the integral. So yes, say uh, so. It's a, a one quarter times integral. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. We have. Oh, so hold on a sec. Uh, integral. Uh, here. All right. Then we have a square root of. 1 plus 3 sine squared of uh, 2x, right? So that's the integrand. And the starting value is 0. And the ending value is 2 pi. And I hit enter. All right? So we got the 2.42, right? I'm going to see a little bit more precision. So I'm going to go to option, rounding and have uh, four decimal places, right? So it's, uh, let's see, we want the two four decimal places. Yeah, so we have uh, 2.4221, right? So let's type it in. So go here, right? We found that to be 2.4221, right? So let's submit for testing. All right, it came back and looks like we got this one correctly. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.